Okavango River in Gimme Land East, Botswana. Okavango River, also called Cubango River, fourth longest river system in southern Africa, running basically southeastward for 1,600 kilometers from central Angola, where it is known as the Cubango, to the Kalahari Desert, in northern Botswana, where the river terminates in an immense inland delta known as the Okavango Swamp. The river, formerly sometimes called the Okavango, takes its name from the Okavango people of northern Namibia. David Livingston, the Scottish missionary and explorer, and the first European known to have seen the Okavango, reached its swampy delta in 1849. The Okavango River rises as the Cubango just south of Villanova, Angola, on the B Plateau, at an elevation of 1,780 meter. It flows south and then southeastward through Angola in a course that is initially broken by rapids. Along its middle course the Okavango forms part of the Angola Namibia border. After being joined by its largest tributary, the Quitter River, the Okavango River then crosses Namibia's narrow Caprivi Strip to enter Botswana. Soon after entering Botswana the Okavango begins to widen as it enters the flat, swampy tract in which it terminates. About 70 miles inside Botswana, the river spreads out to form a triangular shaped delta, the base of which extends for about 240 kilometers. This delta region, less than half of which is swampy around, covers an area of about 16,800 square kilometers. Most of the delta's area is inundated during the rainy season. The river is subject to drastic changes in flow along its length because of seasonal variations. The reception of tributaries, evaporation, and absorption into the riverbed. In its uppermost course, the Okavango flows through woodland country that becomes less densely forested as the river progresses southward. Further to the southeast, the river passes through areas occupied by dry savanna, that is, grassland with scattered acacia trees. In the Okavango swamp itself, the vegetation falls into two main types dense clumps of papyrus reeds and other aquatic plants in the river and floodplain channels, and patches of woodland and savanna occupying the slightly higher parts of the delta. In the delta the dense growth of papyrus reeds is continually blocking the river's channels, thus changing the pattern of flow. Although the Okavango brings water to a parched land, the river's resources remain largely unused, and its banks are only sparsely settled. Except for small craft, the Okavango is virtually unnavigable. A major problem for the Baswana people, the main inhabitants of the Okavango Delta, has been control of the Tsetse fly. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.